Yes, it's been four years since we were treated to new Black Mirror episodes. It seems like a lifetime ago that Miley Cyrus gave us another pop star alter ego and we experienced virtual sex with friends in VR Tekken. The creators of Black Mirror, Charlie Brooker and Annabelle Jones said that releasing content throughout the pandemic would be quote, too depressing. But despite a promo billboard saying that season six of Black Mirror is all around us, live now everywhere, how can they top what we've seen in the first five seasons? I'm Matt Rogers and join me today as we take a look at everything we know so far about Black Mirror season six. Now I'm bringing you weekly videos covering the best and worst of movies and television and delivering it straight to your subscription feed. So to stay up to date and support the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. Believe it or not, Black Mirror has been around since all the way back in 2011. The first two seasons belonging to the UK's Channel 4, when the show was at its best if you ask me. Netflix then swooped in with $100 million to back the creators, which truly made the show a technological nightmare phenomenon. Now that the creators are back creating new episodes, with more than enough time to write and a budget for even bigger stars, the pieces are all there. So far we only have this teaser trailer and accompanying poster to go off, with an extended trailer expected soon, but we now have a glimpse at what and who we can expect to see when the season premieres. A huge cast has been lined up for this season, including Zazie Beetz, most recently known for her role in Joker, Kate Mara, known for her lead role in A Teacher and one of my favourite shows, House of Cards, Annie Murphy of Schitt's Creek fame, Salma Hayek, Michael Cera, Rory Culkin, and of course Breaking Bad's Aaron Paul, just to name a few. Most may not know this, but Aaron Paul is actually a returning star to Black Mirror and had a very minor cameo role off camera in season 4's USS Callister. Some may recall that an enemy gamer approaches the protagonist's ship, threatening to quote, blast them to shit. That's Aaron Paul, so it's a welcome back for him to more of a leading role. Black Mirror is of course known for being an anthology series, each episode being almost always entirely detached to those that came before it, so it's impossible to give any detailed plot synopses at this stage, more than the quick glimpses we see here in the trailer. However, the showrunners have confirmed this season will step things up to have a much more cinematic scope in terms of production quality, treating each episode as an individual movie. We have so far seen two Black Mirror movies, one being the Christmas special and one of my favourites, White Christmas, and of course the interactive 2018 film Bandersnatch, which was rather forgettable in my opinion. But more movie length episodes to really flesh out the world these writers have created? I see no problem with that. Season 6 will apparently consist of more episodes than the season prior, which was only three. But if this poster is anything to go by, this VHS shows S6, presumably meaning season 6, followed by five crossed out titles. For this reason, my money is on five episodes. Creator Charlie Brooker has said, quote, So partly as a challenge and partly to keep things fresh for both me and the viewer, I began this season by deliberately upending some of my own core assumptions about what to expect. Consequently, this time, alongside some of the more familiar Black Mirror tropes, we've also got a few new elements, including some I've previously sworn blind the show would never do, to stretch the parameters of what a Black Mirror episode even is. Brooker says the stories are all still tonally Black Mirror through and through, but they have some crazy swings and more variety than ever before." End quote. Black Mirror has always held a mirror up to society and pinpointed our harrowing reliance on technology. Now they are literally holding a mirror up to us, so it will be interesting to see what they have in store for season 6, which is premiering exclusively on Netflix in June. All I want to see is a return to the truly dark themes we saw in earlier seasons, things that rattle you and force you to stop after each episode to just process what you witnessed. A season that would be impossible to binge in one sitting. But who and what do you most want to see in the new season? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. You can follow along with what I'm watching on Letterboxd, username Matthew Rogers, and my other socials are linked in the description. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering the best and worst of movies and television. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.